<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and Nicholas Cage of Cadenza Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube and today we're looking at Alice in Chains Down a Hole, their live unplugged version from MTV. But before we do that, just like to remind you all to please remember to hit that subscribe button notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff that we do here on the channel. All right, enough of that. Here we go. Three, two, one. opening harmonies off the top between these uh, two is uh, Jerry is that the the guitarist he, he also, he's also the songwriter as well um, <clears throat> Lane's a very st distinctive voice um, obviously uh, has that sort of uh, sort of a, a, a little bit more of an edge to it down in here. that's an understatement <laughs> What is smoking on the stage here? Well, <clears throat> that is, what is that? Is that like a vaporizer? Is that a cigarette? What is he doing? He's got a mug. He's got something else. He's got his lyrics up on a piece of paper. Um, set list, maybe. What's going on? Yeah, it's a cigarette, I think. I can't tell. Somebody knows. Not really going to endorse that kind of behavior in singers, but... Uh, with Lane, we get to pass because he's so damn awesome. Those two voices are so wonderfully locked in. The, those harmonies sound great. It's good to hear the balance between the two voices. Um, I feel that Lane could, uh, you know, easily give a whole lot more. <laughs> he can. He's got a lot more uh, gas in the tank, a lot more uh, firepower, and there's a lot of restraint there as the two voices need to blend. And uh, it's great. It's it's really exciting, actually. And you know, I always was mystified why they called it unplugged because obviously everything's, you know, plugged in these days. You, you, you have to be and the microphones are there for a reason. They're plugged in. Um, undistorted, I guess, would be the a more appropriate or correct term to how these performances come forward. Uh, I think it, and the, without the distortion, uh, new colors are revealed in the performance.
here's an interesting thing. Here's an interesting thing. Let's just go back here. I was going to comment on posture. And now uh, that's a really big thing, uh, certainly in all schools of thought when it comes to creating um, the groundwork for good singing technique. Posture is like the foundation. Part of the foundation is posture and then breathing. That's one of the things that we emphasize. And uh, <laughs> Lane is like, this is not what you're supposed to do. He's breaking all the rules of, of vocal technique. And, and also too, you know, the, how he minimizes um, the mouth movement, uh, his embouchure. Uh, again, you know, when you're really wanting to uh, emphasize and, and create clear lyrics, you, you, you do more with your embouchure. You do more articulation with your mouth. He gets away with it. Why? Because he, he knows what he's doing and he knows what he's about. I, I would wish, I would wish that he would uh, be a little bit closer to the microphone because I think there's a, a, a little bit of vocal nuance that he's producing that isn't being captured by that microphone. Um, and maybe there's a couple of reasons for that one. He's, he seems to be very much focused on those lyrics on, on the, the sheet in front of him. And uh, probably not because, uh, not be, not because he doesn't know them. I don't. I don't think that's the reason. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, what I've often found is that when you have a music stand in front of you, you're going to look at it. You're you're going to pay attention to it, and um, and it sort of draws your energy towards it in in a very weird way. And and also too, you know, uh, don't forget we're all human and we all make mistakes, and we want to minimize those, especially when you maybe you perceive that the stakes are a little bit higher. You have you know, this isn't just an ephemeral live show. This is a show that is being taped or broadcast as well as, you know, going to be distributed on, on, on MTV. And you, you want it to be as perfect as possible. You, you don't want to be forgetting your lyrics in the middle of the song. Um, like, you know, some performers. <laughs> uh, it, it happens to us all. And uh, at any rate, we he... Um, he, I guess to, to complete that thought, he's doing everything that all the classical teachers or, and every you know, music teacher or vocal coach will say, you, you wanna try and avoid as much as possible and uh, he can still carry it off because he's Lane Staley. And uh, there you go, that's it, that's my comment. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the thing. I will. You see how he draws his body up there? He needs a little bit more support in order to get that note. That's the point I was trying to make earlier. Before I got totally sidetracked on, I don't know what I was talking about. Stuff. Let's watch that again. You need to see that happen. I will no more my feelings. That's just true. You're gonna need a little bit more subglottal breath pressure and you need to do that and he you could see him sort of hike up a little bit to make sure he could get that note and and get that sort of pained quality in the in the vocal in the lyric
Okay, so really interesting. A couple of things as watching the performance here. As these uh, to the two vocalists were singing, there was like a bit of an exchange. I thought I was expecting the harmonies, the high harmony that Lane was doing, to continue all the way throughout that moment. And then um, we have the guitarist. Is it Jerry who's playing? <laughs> I think so part of what's happening here is as Lane is taking the high harmony he's he's also going off axis of the microphone and that allows the high harmony to not overpower the main melodic line I, I'm guessing um, which is re incredibly sensitive to do not every singer is that <laughs> caring of uh, how the blend is going to be manufactured on stage and it takes a, a you know an astute sort of stage sense uh, to be able to uh, bring that out in your performance in real time i don't know why he stopped though throughout that harmonic progression it maybe it was intentional maybe that's how the song is supposed to go i don't i don't really know i should know but i don't <clears throat> maybe one of you intelligent people know and you can leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts about uh that particular moment maybe it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter i'm kind of transfixed by it but they they are so locked in i would just love to hear them sort of glide through that um chorus part <laughs> yeah oh man log jam it that was good um very much enjoyed uh the unplugged version of this song i don't i don't know the the original i'd love to i should know it but i will i will look it up and you know trying to get a sense of uh the difference there but uh, the vocals were very much locked in and uh really sounding good a lot of sensitivity and, and um, on stage intelligence, musical intelligence. It's it's a different kind of singing when you take on the the harmony part. You really need to be sensitive to that, especially if you're like the lead vocalist generally, uh, and then you take on the the harmony. You, you want to make sure that uh, whatever it is that you're doing, you're not intentionally overpowering the melodic line. Very very cool. Really awesome. Okay, great. Uh, well, that does it for me in this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for uh, checking it out. Um, if you are a vocalist and you wanted to learn more about how to unleash your voice, I strongly recommend you reach out to a vocal coach. There might be one living near you. That's great. The best way to learn one on one in the same room, but it's not always possible. Today's day and age, you can um, reach out to one of us in YouTube land. There's lots of vocal coaches to choose from. Strongly recommend you. you do that. You don't have to work with me. Uh, you could work with one of them, but if you want to work with me, I'll be sure to leave the, my links down below in the description. And as always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff that we produce here uh, on the channel. And you can be part of this fabulous community here at Team Levine. And uh, yeah, uh, leave comments as well <laughs> do all sorts of wonderful stuff here on youtube uh if you have made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time